go boys. We made it, we are in Leger. It was a long trip from Innsbruck and now it's uh, Wednesday morning. In the afternoon we're gonna have some practice, so I'm gonna check the jobs. Looks fun, man. It's like last year, a little bit smaller, but it's good. Did you do all the course? This is my favorite jump, the corner lock. Last year, I had some fun here. On a rotate it, but he pulled it around. Oh, oh going no. way too long on the cannon and going down. Yeah. Okay, I go to the physio. It's better, my feet hurt. Imagine pulling down here. <laughs> Surprised that the other guy said it's easy because I'm, I was terrified about this lap. <laughs> I almost crashed this one. It's really windy right now in front. Oh, was that? It's super windy today and everything's different from this morning. So I'm struggling with this course. Ah. This morning I wake up so happy to ride. I don't know why. It's windy today. What's the problem with this place? Good morning, it's Friday and today it's really cold, it's windy in the front so we're gonna practice in this park this morning and then maybe in the afternoon all the rest. Saturday morning here in Leger and this morning I have to go up early to do all my tricks because during the week I didn't practice that much I got my foot with shirt and uh, it was windy in that yesterday so this morning it's time to do everything and getting ready for the final tomorrow too early for riders of course also too cold Thank you. 
already windy, it's too much, and uh, it's gonna be another practice this morning. I changed my plan on the welter. We are now on point for this, so let's send the other tricks and uh, we're good to go for the final. Yo. World Championship Series. Diego has solidified himself as one of the top riders in the world. We always talk about Brett Reeder and Nikolai Regakin, but this could quickly turn into a three horse race here if Diego, Diego Caverzazzi out of Italy keeps up at this pace. Man, I can't help but think that he has some secret tricks in his bag. Always so fun to watch him practice. Very excited for this run right here. Starting out with a flat flip on that start drop. Yes! Cash roll on the first jump. We actually saw him crash on that this morning and limp away. So we weren't sure if he was going to be able to get back on his bike. So that's got to feel real good. He's got a lot of confidence going into this four pack right here. Oh! Is that a front flip Superman, I believe? Oh. Back flip, bar spin and tail whip, perfectly clean. So his run is going great so far. I hope he can pull oh, it together. Boy. Front flip, ah. bar spin on the green. Oh! Ah. Those features are linked so close together. Diego Caverzasi riding on the edge of control the entire run, yet still managing perfect landings up until the train fell off the tracks there a couple hours before the event. We saw him limp away. We weren't sure if he was going to be able to take his run. Right now it's going to all come down for run number two if he's going to want to be on the podium here for the third time this season at stop number three. Diego doing tricks still, knowing that valuable points are on the line, maybe taking this as a bit of a practice run for run number two. The pressure will be on. Yeah, man, we're going all good. Okay. It's the point. I don't know why I think the wind pushed me too far, Helen. So low in the front of the runner, and I couldn't get the line for the step, so I had to stop. Such a shame for me because it was going so good. I, I had done all the other three other streak in the Mara. But we still got a second. So I'm gonna send it again. But Diego, a guy who's got two bronze to his name already this year. And he's second, done it in his second run both times. Second run assassin, not phase when he screws up his first runs. Always able to pull it together under the pressure, and here he comes for run number two. Diego Caverzazzi with his final chance to get a medal here in Leger. 
Casual on that jump, putting a foot down, able to hold on. Ryder's having a lot of trouble with that first jump now. Let's see what he's got planned for us. Front flip Superman on the first jump of the four pack. Oh, missing the back flip Barsman to tail whip. And we saw him get a tail whip after that in his first run. Oh! Man, he can still bring this run around. So many tricks in his bag. 360 tail whip in, perfectly smooth. Backflip no hander out. What are we going to see on the last jump? Uh, the backflip tuck no hander, keeping things safe and smooth, maintaining points for Diego Caverzasi. Now, I don't think that was the run that he was looking for, but that was good strategy for no hander. We know he had bigger plans, but what will the score be? Ooh, 69.5. Only good enough for 11th place right here. So, Diego. Uh, well, second jump straight, I got cash over with a foot down. Almost was going to crash, but I made it somehow. And then I went into the front flip Superman, didn't work well. And then Flipper Weaver was too close, I just did Flipper. Struggling with my feet on the wild card. And then I had to repeat the last three because I was so slow and it didn't work out this time. Okay. Front flip whip, it's easier than front flip Superman. This guy is telling me... Uh, is that possible? Is this front flip Superman is easy? This fucking guy is crazy. No, no, no. I, I think you got a problem. You got a problem. I'm sure. And Twister easy? Easy Twister? What? Twister, what the? Twister way what easier the? than front flip Superman. No way. No way. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.